Hi, Maya. Can you hear me? I can hear you, but I, I, uh, I'm less good at talking at the moment. Oh, no problem. I was just checking to make sure someone who joined can yeah, hear yeah. me. Yeah, yeah, everything is fine. Everything is fine. I'm just going to wait for another minute to see if there are other people joining now. Right. It's okay. Uh, also, if um, Maya, if you're not too comfortable talking today, you can just type in the updates in the document as well uh, and just you know, chat out any questions or help. I need to, to. I need to request that. I need to, to request the help. So I joined. All right. Okay, let's get started. Hi, everyone. Hope everyone's had a good extended weekend. So, um, do we have anyone from communications or uh, human resources? I don't think Daniel or Tyler are on the call. If there are no updates over there, uh, Maya, how's it going with you? You needed help with something. Right. So basically from our side, <clears throat> I, I truly apologize for my um, over pleasant voice. Oh, um, <laughs> so <clears throat> from our side, we have everything ready, but we really stuck with that that we need the latest versions of data sets, V19 and later to be processed by infrastructure team and provide us uh, with um, provide us with a data set that contains ULMS. That is crucial mm -hmm. for us to succeed and stay in time because most of the things, uh, most of the other things uh, from our from our side, uh, we've prepared it. Uh, and another okay. thing. And another thing that will be very important for us um, mm -hmm. annotators are like as soon as we, let's say, made the extraction and let's say there is four, four days uh, to fix uh, the ULMS and let's say there are a few more days for us to make the extraction, right? Mm -hmm. Afterwards, we will uh, urgently need uh, the professional annotators team to help us mm -hmm. to approve the results. All right. Uh, have you reached out to anyone uh, in terms of annotation I, so far? Or? No, I didn't. And I don't have the contacts, honestly. And I okay. think that is, that is something that communication mm -hmm. or like human resources uh, team should take care of. 
I, okay. I, I've reached I've reached to Slava regarding the uh, processing of uh, the right. data sets themselves. All right, gotcha. Uh, if I may suggest uh, for annotations, I recently um, reached out to some people um, because I needed some medical uh, help with the annotations. So there are two things I tried. Uh, one is I just created or uh, filled up the form in the help needed channel and I got uh, someone sign uh, volunteer themselves on that. And the other thing I did is I spoke to Tyler and he gave me a list of people I could reach out to who I then pinged over Slack uh, and I got a few responses. So let me forward that list from Tyler to you. Uh, and if you can maybe just raise a request in the help need a channel, someone might volunteer there as well. Does that help, Maya? Uh, yeah, but my question is when should I do that? Like, should I do it when I really have the data set on hands or should I do it before? Because I'm a little bit nervous to do it before and then uh, I see. silent for a few uh, days more. Got it. Uh, my personal advice is, so uh, the way we're doing it with uh, task VT is that we've sort of, um, you know, just to make sure that the task is defined and there's some level of agreement before annotators, we, uh, we're giving them pilot data sets uh, so that they can annotate a few of the examples and then, um, you know, someone from VT is going to review them and, you know, discuss and make sure that there are uh, there aren't any um, you know discrepancies in the labels, or there is no confusion in what the task really is. So that does take a few days as well. So maybe uh, I don't know if that would work for you, but maybe uh, if you can just uh, pick the latest data set that you have, uh, even if it's just version. 18 or whatever, and just, um, you know, get annotators familiarize themselves with what the task is using those examples. Uh, I, that could be useful and that could save some time for you downstream. Uh, if the data is not going to have changed too much, I'm assuming there's only new data being added and the existing is going to remain the same. Uh, so that's something that you can think about and discuss with your team. Got it, and we'll update my team. Thank you so much. Welcome. All right, thanks, Maya. Uh, task PT. Hi, Dan. How's it Hi, going? Malika. It's good. Um, not a lot to report. I think the main thing is that Charlie Hoyt is doing a talk next week about writing reproducible Python code and kind of like packaging, continuous integration, and documentation. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be a super interesting, very useful talk. Um, I'm very excited and we're just scheduling this week and then on Friday we'll announce the exact date and then send out an email to CoronaWide generally for that. So that's that's the main thing that I have. Awesome. Uh, how, how's the, uh, the refactoring work that June was working on? ISICs also added some test cases and stuff, right? I saw that some time ago. Yeah, uh, it's steadily progressing. Um, I'll check in with June today, but that's been, yeah, June and Shannon are adding some documentation as well using Sphinx. Um, so still making progress on that. Awesome. Uh, is there any team which needs any help, Dan? For the refactoring stuff? Uh, yeah, refactoring or even otherwise in general uh, with any of the other projects, Twitter and so on. Um, I think there are plenty of hands on deck with the other projects and with refactoring, I think there's nothing immediately that uh, okay. needs help, but as June needs help, then he'll reach out. All right. Thanks, Dan. Yeah, thank you. Uh, for anyone who's interested on the call, just a small update on um, contradictory claims under Task VT. Uh, we have, uh, as I was just telling Maya, we've onboarded a few annotators and uh, we're looking to annotate some example pairs of uh, claims. And we're hoping to, uh, depending on how the annotation task goes, we're hoping to use that to uh, train a bird based model uh, for contradictory claim classification. So if there's anyone who wants to know more about that or has any thoughts and they'd like to 
provide any ideas, feel free to ping me. All right. Um, thanks, Dan. Uh, task ties, uh, Demiro. How's it going? Hello, everyone. And the uh, last couple of days, actually, we were concentrated more on uh, uh, consolidating the all all tasks we have on the updates, mm -hmm. uh, etc. So there is no uh, no new news, uh, frankly speaking. But uh, uh, we are going to uh, re restart our daily call, which uh, which wasn't uh, regular for I don't know, mm -hmm. for four days. So let's say for for days or even for a couple of weeks uh, due to time zones and mm -hmm. span and actually uh, what what was done during last uh, couple of days we consolidated all the all the uh, tasks we actually uh, have working on and uh, we are going to have uh, tomorrow the, the first uh, call after this such a pause and uh, I. Actually, I have a feeling that uh, tomorrow we will have more salient update on that. And uh, we should check okay. all the progress and all the blockers. And uh, we won't hesitate to contact if we need help. But for the time being, I don't know. All right. That sounds okay. Thanks. Thanks, Tamiru. Um... I don't think we have Arthur or his brain on the call today. Um, moving on, uh, do we have anyone from search engine or ontology teams? Uh, I don't think we have Lucas on the call either. All right. Um, Tasgeo, do we have anyone from Tasgeo? No. Uh, I don't think Slava or Anton are on the call for infra and data sets update either. We do have Isaac or Ali either. Okay. Uh, would anyone know anything about uh, external team updates? All right. Um, I think that was a very quick call today then. Thanks everyone for joining. Have a good day. Thank you so much, Malavika. Have a good Thank day. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye.